The job you'll be working today is dishroom cleanup. It is the responsibility of the dishroom cleanup team to close down the dishroom. During this time, you will be cleaning the last of the student dishes, cleaning the belt line and trowel areas, running all dishes, mats, and drain grates through the dish machine, cleaning out the dish machine, and mopping the floors and cleaning the walls. The main cleaning chemical we use in the dish room is Orange Force 139 degreaser. If you are working both dish room and dish room cleanup, be sure to go clock in at level two for the dish room cleanup portion. First, you must clean all the dishes. Customers have 30 minutes after the end of the meal period to eat. Double check the dining hall to ensure no one has left their dishes. Once the final dishes have been washed and run through the machine, you may begin closing the dish room. Next, you will need to begin cleaning the belt line. To clean the belt line, be sure to have a bottle or two of Orange Force spray, a scratch pad, and clean rags. For the outside belt line, be sure to put a wet floor sign on each side of the partition. Funnel the hose through the chute to spray off the belt line. Pop the boards off to access the lower belt line. Flip the belt line and spray it down with Orange Force and the hose. Be sure to remove all food debris and dry the conveyor belt. Put the boards back on the wall. Be sure to mop up the floor of all wet spots. For the inside belt line and trowel area, rinse down with the hose first. After rinsing the trowel, flip the belt line and spray the area with Orange Force. Be sure to get underneath the conveyor belt and on top of the tables, cleaning all surfaces, including the drink rollers and stands. Be sure to scrub the areas with a scratcher pad. Once the surface is clean, rinse again with the hose and dry with clean rags. There are several drains throughout the dish room that you will need to make sure are cleaned out. There are two on either side of the conveyor belt. There are also three drains, one underneath the machine on the unloading side, and two by the loader side. In addition to these drains, there are also the grates and floor trowel drains that should be sprayed out and run through the dish machine. Mats will be the last thing you run through the dish machine before it is cleaned out. Be careful as the mats will be heavy. Be sure to demonstrate proper lifting technique while performing this job. Only 18 mats should be on a cart. Once a mat cart is full, push the cart to the catering hallway. Once everything has been run through the dish machine, you may shut it down and begin to clean out the machine. Start by turning off the dish machine, then draining it. As the machine drains, open the side doors. Remove the two interior drain catches inside each door and spray them clean. Using the hose in the corner of the dish room, spray out the inside of the machine. Make sure to get all visible food debris and buildup. Once the drain catches in the interior of the machine are clean, put the catches back in. Keep the doors open slightly to allow the machine to properly dry overnight. Once all areas have been cleaned in the dish room, the final step is to mop the floors. Grab a mop bucket from the cleaning closet. Push all the dish carts out of the dish room and mop all areas of the dish room floor, including under the belt line. Squeegee the water into the floor drains. Return the dish carts to their location. You must also clean the walls. Using the doodle bug tool, spray the pad with orange force. Apply the doodle bug to all wall spaces. Add more orange force every few minutes so all walls get clean. Once you've completed all these duties, be sure to find a student leader and they will check you out. This completes the dish room cleanup training video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your student leader during your training.